Nails, Fails and Some Prevails by Polish Blissfully. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you my stamp and plate collection and how I store them. Now over the course of my nail art journey, stamping has become one of my firm favourites. So I have collected a fair few and I think I've finally found a, a way that I could store such a big collection in such a compact space. So if you want to have a look at my collection, then just keep on watching. So since I have limited space in my nail nook, I basically designated one drawer in my mum to store in my stamping plates and everything stamping. So I have this little basket that I just picked up from my local B&M and inside that I have various sizes of these little pouches and cases that I store all of my plates in. So I'm going to go through all the cases and if I remember where I got them from, I'll also mention that as well. So yeah, let's get into it. So first up, I store all of my larger rectangular plates in these leather cases. The first one is empty because I like to always keep an empty one just in case. Then we have the pink one and the two blue ones. The two blue ones are where I store all of my upper cheek plates. So one will have all of the collections and the other has all the singular plates. And the other one is where I store all of the plates from a similar size. So first we'll start with the pink one. And in there I have Lena Nail Supplies, Make Your Mark 01, Make Your Mark 02, Make Your Mark 03, Feel and Shape Play 09, Mad for Mandala 01, Spring 01, and finally Get Wild 01. I also have a Fabio Nails Fun 20 plate, then I have some Moiras, and first up for them I have Waterworld, then I have Retro, these are two newer plates to me that I got on a sale. Then we have Moira Lace Love, then we have Moira Florality 01. And finally for the pink case, we have Moira Fabric Texture. Then on to the upper cheek plates, which are probably some of my favourite stamping plates ever. This is Collection 1. I also have Collection 4. We then have Collection 5. Then I have Collection 7. Collection 8. Collection 9 Collection 10 And finally for the collections, this is Collection 16 And now we move on to the Singular Plates by Albertrique And we have The Mermaid Life Unicorn Love Halloween 01 And I also have Halloween 02 I then have the Lovely Leaves plate. We then have the Far East plate. And also Christmas 01. Next we move on to the rectangular plates. And in there I keep all my Born Pretty stamping plates. So that would be their extra large plates. And also some of their smaller plates. So we'll start with the darker pink one. And in this one I have BPL 001 006. 008 I also have 009 then we have 010 013 015 016 017 019 020 021 023 024 029 and finally 052 I also have Haranuta 34 Haranuta L15 
JQ10, BCO3 and 03 and those last three were AliExpress plates. And then in the lighter pink case, these ones also hold some circular plates, some hexagon plates and some more Born Pretty XL and some Harunuta ones. So I have a Harunuta 45, L35, L18, L21, L33 and finally Harunuta 38. We also have another couple of Born Pretty and I have BPL 045 and 054. We then have some of the mini plates and these ones are a mix from Harunuta and also Born Pretty Store. I'm not going to tell you really the names but I will leave those links in the description box. But these are all just the smaller plates, really cheap ones. And I also have a few of these Laren plates by Clear Jelly Stamper. They're totally not my favourite, so you will see that I've had them for about two years now. And I've only used two. They're not really, like, etched deep, so I find that I can't pick them up very well. I then have this gorgeous blue clutch type thing by Bundle Monster. I got mine on Rainbow Connection and in here I keep the rest of my rectangular plates. So I'll have a huge mix in here and I will go through them all one by one. So we start with the petal plates and I have Happiness, Kaboom, The perfect one, which is a gorgeous basic stamping plate. We then have Terra. I love, love, love this plate. And finally, we have Lumi Sunday. I then have a few of the Upper Cheek mini plates, and I have Upper Cheek Texture Delicious 01 and 02. And the Fabulous Feathers plate. Next, we move on to Creative Shop, which I think that name is perfect because they have some of the most beautiful plates ever and I have number 73, number 35, number 46, then we have number 28, 71 and finally for those we have number 66. Next I have a few of the Bundle Monster collab plates and I have Yagala, Beach and Nails, Lucy's Stash, Nail Stamp for Fun, Slot Easy, and Madam Luck. I then have one lonely messy mansion, Symmetrica plate, and this is number five. Then we have Born Pretty, 58, 61, 62, and Harunuta, 020. Next we have Moyu London, Hipster 08, Explorer 11, Alice in Wonderland 04, Kaleidoscope 03, Festive 06, Festive 07, Princess 09, Tourist 03, Festive 21 Bridal 02 Pro XL 01 Fairy Tale 06 Sailor 05 And finally for those, Festive 09 
Next we have another one of these leather cases by Bundle Monster and in this one I keep all of my circular queen plates. So as you may notice I haven't used 90% of these because they're not my favourite to reach for but I still keep them because some of the, they do have some really amazing designs on them. Now I am not going to mention all of these by name but these are just basically a few of the small collections that they do in the little like round cases and I have bought them off of friends or I bought one off of Amazon so yeah this is all of my queen plates and then as I get nearer to the end I have some Born Pretty plates I also have some by El Corazon then I have some by AliExpress so yeah that's basically just everything I have in there so next I have a few of these that don't actually fit in any of the cases I have. So I have some Apila plates, I have some of their Laren plates, which actually stamp really amazing. I then have one of their Christmas plates, this was one I just bought last year. Another couple of their Laren plates. And we move on to some of the circular plates by Messy Mansion. They may be circular but they're a lot larger than the ones I have space for. I then have one of these Marion Nails plates. This one is it's got like some beautiful mandala designs. I really love it. It's amazingly etched well and stamps beautifully. Then I have some of these Yours by Sasha Gossin. I have two of what sorry, one of those, and then I have two Loja BFF plates, which I just keep stored in that little packet. I also have another two Loja BFF. FF plates but these are special these are the group customs that were made on the nail artisan site so we have a beauty and the beast one and a unicorn one I then have this little character plate that I got from AliExpress and finally for my that for my larger plates I have the Apila pla super plaque at A and B again I don't reach for them very often but they have some amazing designs so I want to keep them now finally we move on to these little smaller cases. So these are the little queen cases that I spoke about and I have a couple of Born Pretty ones. So these ones are empty because I moved all my circular plates into the previous one that I mentioned. I then have one for the square plates and in these I keep the festive collection by Bundle Monster. So we finally reached the end of my stamp and plate collection. As you can see, I have a fair few plates. I don't use them all because I have my favourites, but I like to keep a wide variety just in case. So I really hope my storage system helped you in some way. And that's it for today's video. I would really appreciate it if you liked this video to give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more of my videos, please hit that subscribe button. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!